at River House, where two private terraces offered them front row seats for the scheduled 911 show. Just how rich and powerful is Lord Evelyn Rothschild? Historically, the Rothschild family wealth was hidden in underground vaults. The Rothschild's secret financial records were never audited and never accounted for. Their family commissioned biographies give the illusion that their family fortune has dwindled, but researchers estimate their wealth at close to $500 trillion, more than half the wealth of the entire world. Besides their many castles, palace mansions, wineries, racehorses, and exotic resorts, the Rothschilds bought Reuters in the 1800s. Reuters then bought the Associated Press, which selects and delivers the same news stories to the entire world, day after day. They have controlling interest in three major television networks and easily avoid media attention since they own it. Until recently, they owned and operated England's Royal Mint and continue to be the gold agent for the Bank of England, which they also direct. They control the LBMA, London Bullion Market Association, where 30 to 42 million ounces of gold worth over $11 billion are traded daily. The Rothschilds earn millions weekly just on transaction fees alone. They also fix the world price of gold on a daily basis and profit from its ups and downs. Over the centuries, the Rothschilds have amassed trillions of dollars worth of gold bullion in their subterranean vaults and have cornered the world's gold supply. They own controlling interest in the world's largest oil company, Royal Dutch Shell. They operate phony charities and offshore banking services where the wealth of the black nobility and the Vatican is hidden in secret accounts at Rothschild Swiss banks, trusts and holding companies. Although Evelyn Rothschild looks like a harmless gray-haired old man, make no mistake about it, Rothschild and his ancestors have hand-picked presidents, crashed stock markets, bankrupted nations, orchestrated wars, and sponsored the mass murder and impoverishment of millions. The wealth hoarded by this one family alone could feed, clothe, and shelter every human being on earth. How did Evelyn Rothschild become the filthy rich Grand Vizier to Queen Elizabeth II and godfather of the black nobility? By birth, Evelyn Rothschild is the great-great-great-grandson of Mayor Rothschild and is passing the godfathership down to David de Rothschild. Their story begins in 18th century Frankfurt, Germany on a cobblestone street called Frankfurt on the Main. Mayor Amschel Bauer was a goldsmith and a loan shark. He hung a red hexagram shield over his doorway and changed his name from Bauer to Rothschild, which means red shield in German. The red hexagram shield was the symbol for the world revolutionary movement. Family biographers describe Mayor Rothschild as a poor man who lived with his family above his goldsmith shop and sold rare coins to royal customers. Contrary to appearances, Mayor stashed a big supply of gold, precious coins and jewels in special hiding places inside his house. One special hiding place was beneath the back courtyard where he accessed his strong box through an underground passageway. Mayor taught his five sons the tricks of the trade. To them, he wasn't just their father. He was their lord and master. To them, he was Lord Mayor. 
In 1773, Mayor Rothschild invited 12 wealthy revolutionary-minded men to his goldsmith shop. Together, they formulated a plan to seize control of the world's wealth. They made a pact to secretly pool their money and influence to bankrupt the nations of the world and create a new world order. Using his connections, Mayer teamed up with Prince William, who was the ruler of Germany's Heschkessel district. William had a reputation as a cold-blooded loan shark who trained and rented out his Hessian soldiers as mercenary troops. It was a profitable blood-for-money business that made Prince William one of Europe's richest men Working as Prince William's agent, Mayor Rothschild collected fees for each dead Hessian soldier killed on the battlefield. He hired his sons to help him collect the blood money from renter nations. Since wars were good for the rent-a-troop business, Prince William used his royal connections in Denmark and England to provoke these wars. King George III of England rented Hessian soldiers from Mayor Rothschild and Prince William to fight the American colonists. American colonists had already shot down millions of North American Indians whose spears and arrows were helpless against the deadly gunfire. The worst Holocaust in human history occurred not in Nazi Germany, but on American soil. By 1776, British and Hessian troops arrived on American shores ready to fight the American colonists. It comes. They're preparing for an attack. And we won't have long to wait either. See there? Hessian troops to the north. Hessian mercenaries. I can't believe the king is paying Germans to come here and kill British colonists. The colonists won their independence and Mayor Rothschild won his blood money for the heads of each and every Hessian soldier killed on the battlefield. Back in Europe, Napoleon, with his mighty French army, became master of Europe. When Napoleon and his troops stormed into Frankfurt, Germany, William feared for his life and his vast fortune. He left three million dollars in the hands of Mayor Rothschild to pay the Hessian soldiers. Then he escaped to Denmark to stay with his royal relatives, all of whom were descendants of the tribe of Dan. Mayor Rothschild received a stock market tip from his World Revolutionary Network. Instead of paying the Hessian soldiers with the three million dollars that was left to him by William, he bet the money on his insider stock market tip. With his new fortune, Mayor Rothschild set up five family banks to be run by each of his five sons in London, Paris, Naples, Frankfurt, and Vienna. On September 19, 1812, Mayor Rothschild died at the age of 68. He left instructions that the amount of the inheritance must never be made public, that secrecy and ruthlessness must be used in all business practices, and that family members must intermarry with their own blood relatives to keep the family fortune all in the family. All five brothers dedicated themselves to their ancestors' world revolutionary dream. That dream was to control the entire world under one world ruler by disarming the nations of the world. <laughs>